What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is Demon here with Math Tutorials 14. Alright guys, so I'm super excited to get this video out to you guys because we made it public last night um, and basically I just wanted to go ahead and talk about everything that's going on. This is super, super exciting because the jailbreaking community is getting like really, really amazing and I'm really excited about the things that are coming out really soon. About some, you know, a, a lot of these different tweaks that are coming out have a lot of potential. Um, and I know I got yelled at in the R jailbreak from a couple of commenters saying like, oh yeah, like I, I could see how this tweak is a gimmick, but come on, like how, how could it have so much potential? The reason why I said so much potential is um, in the way of... Two, there's two reasons. One, a lot of people in the comments suggested stuff we could do like Pong or Brick or Space Invaders or just like classic style arcade games. That's what I meant by having potential because people could, you know, uh, I guess suggest stuff. And also because it would sell extremely well because a lot of people would actually like to have this. And if it were a paid tweak, which we really still haven't decided on, um, then, you know, it would actually be something that people would want to pay a lot of money for. Uh, just in general, it's something people would want to pay, pay a lot of money for. So I just wanted to go ahead and come on here and announce this. Uh, just come at, uh, right out with it. So basically what ended up happening was uh, I was talking to this guy on uh, through DM, and he's the guy that, uh, that actually let me uh, review the, uh, it's called Fold Swipe. Uh, if you didn't see the review, I'll post it down in the uh, description box below. Uh, it's actually a really, really good tweak, uh, and I like it a lot, but unfortunately, uh, while it is one of his major tweaks that he's made, it's not like a huge, huge major tweak that, uh, you know, once it gets released, will actually make, uh, you know, it will actually make the community a lot better, uh, you know, and... I guess it will, but it's not one of those tweaks that uh, like everyone's going to be covering. This definitely will. This has a lot of potential in the way of media coverage, and you know that that's why I said potential to begin with. But now that I'm thinking, so many people in the comments posted uh, stuff that we could potentially implement. Potentially, sorry, potentially implement like uh, Space Invaders, Pong, Brick, all these different uh, you know old arcade games and old style games. You know. 8-bit games that we could maybe somehow get to work on the springboard. Um, and this is just like a platform for an idea. Uh, I, I've had this idea for a little while now, and I'm going to actually go on and publicly announce the name here. We have decided on the name Hoverboard. So that's right, it's going to be called Hoverboard. I'm super excited for that because there's a couple of reasons why. Uh, the main reason why that's a clever idea is the fact that uh, it's actually called, uh, the, the home screen in jailbreaking terms is actually called the Springboard. So uh, that alone is using the board name. Um, so that's also, that's the first cool part about it. Second part about it is it also does come from the, uh, the board name because Gravity Board, Hoverboard, you know, it's the same board uh, suffix, I guess you could call it. Um, so yeah, so th that's also why I'm excited. And also, uh, it's also a reference to one of my favorite movies, Back to the Future. So I, I had a couple of name ideas. We went back and forth, but we decided on Hoverboard. So that's what it's going to be called. We don't know when it's officially going to be released, but uh, and the developer didn't want me to talk about any ETAs because he said, uh, really, if you say any ETAs as a developer, that means that you really, really have to stick to it because people are going to be really, really wanting to have, uh, you know, you're going to want to... There, people are going to want you to actually go ahead and release the tweak around the time that you set it. And I know some developers are great in doing that, but others, you know, and, uh, you know, just as a developer in general, if I was a developer, I'm not. But if I was a developer and I was developing this tweak, uh, j just for what from what I understand, it doesn't seem hard, but it seems like it could take a lot of time to do. And if you say you're actually going to release it on a specific date and you don't follow through, people are going to be mad at you and that could make you really, really stressed and really, really annoyed and anxious and, you know, mad and all these different emotions uh, of sadness and stuff. So that's why, uh, you know, one of the main reasons why the developer didn't want, to, want me to go into, uh, you know, complete stuff about the ETA of the jailbreak tweak. Uh, we will definitely let you guys know when it is uh, in beta stage, when it is as of right now, he hasn't even started coding it yet. This is just a concept, and I think a lot of people like it. So I'll talk a little bit about what it actually does. So I, I, I can't even talk. I posted this on Reddit 20 hours ago, and in 20 hours, it's racked up 109 upvotes on the R Jailbreak section on twi uh, Twitter, on Reddit, and it's actually one of the uh, most popular R Jailbreak uh, 
posts on the R Jailbreak subreddit as of right now. So 77% of the people upvoted it. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about it. It says, new sick tweak idea. Dev says he will make this a reality if enough people like it. Obviously, I think 109 people upvoting it is definitely a, um, you know, a lot of people. So he said he was going to do it. So I said, okay, so after talking to a dev, I've managed to think up an amazing idea for a tweak. What if Gravity Board was back for iOS 8, but under a different name? And this Gravity Board not only did what Gravity Board used to do, but more. Um, so I'll, before I continue, I'll go on and then basically explain what Gravity Board was. So Gravity Board was a tweak made by Conrad Kramer, and he actually, uh, on a completely unrelated note, Conrad, Conrad Kramer, I didn't personally know the guy, but apparently he used to go to my school, he graduated from my school, um, which is actually pretty sick, and so yeah, so anyway, um, that's just a little connection I wanted to talk about, but anyway, so Conrad uh, actually developed this tweak back on the iOS 5 and iOS 6 days, um, called Gravity Board. I think it actually came out for iOS 5, or maybe iOS 4, uh, back on iOS 4, 4.2.1, uh, I feel like it's 4.2.1, um, or maybe it's even iOS 5 or lower. I don't know exactly what it is, but it was very old. It was a very old jailbreak tweak when it first started out, and he updated it all the way uh, up to iOS 6, and that's when workflow started getting popular, and he started working on workflow a lot more, and now uh, he just doesn't really have the time to update his uh, his jailbreak tweak gravity board for iOS 8. So I said, uh, basically what gravity board is, is uh, as long as you had activator installed, if you shook your device, let's say, if you uh, assign that to the activator gesture, then you would actually be able to go in, shake your device, and all of the icons would actually uh, float up to the bottom. Of the, I, I don't know why I keep saying bottom. Float up to the top of the screen and you can actually go ahead, it uses the iPhone's gyroscope. You, ac you can actually go ahead and uh, turn over the phone. So if it's if you decide to turn over it to like this, then all the icons will float over to the left-hand side corner of the screen like that and like that and like that. And it would, it, it'd be really, really cool to, to try out and you can flick the icons and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, this was really, really cool and this was an awesome jailbreak tweak and it got a lot of popularity and Conrad got really popular for making this but this was never updated for iOS 7 or iOS 8. So I said, what if Gravity Board was back for iOS 8 but under a different name? And this Gravity Board not only did what Gravity Board actually used to do, but more. If you have something, you know, in these settings or activator enabled that, you know, when you, if you actually had this enabled, when you'd be able to actually play basketball with your icons, you'd actually be able to do that. So a hoop would actually appear and you could legitimately play. You can flick your icons on the screen and get them into that hoop. What if there was a soccer mode, a hockey mode, baseball mode, uh, you know, whatever it is. I mean, this this tweak sounds really amazing and it has so much potential. I said, be sure to comment down below if you want this tweak to be made. People said, uh, air hockey table. Um, someone said, can you say multiplayer in quotations? And that is true. Um, hopefully, I am hoping uh, the developer figures out a way to make multiplayer a thing. Maybe that won't be in the initial version, but that's probably, if he does figure out how to make multiplayer a thing uh, with hoverboard, then, um, you know, that will definitely be in an update. Um, so he said, uh, some people said, sounds like it's gimmicky and I'd use it for five minutes and never use it again. And I, I definitely understand that. And that's kind of the reason why it would do so well, because uh, this is kind of like a tweak to basically show off to your friends and say, you know, look what I can do because you're jailbroken. And if this multiplayer aspect was, you know, built in, then people could say, oh, do you, are you jailbroken? Do you have hoverboard installed? Are you jailbroken? Yeah, okay. So we both have hoverboard installed. So we can both play air hockey together on our springboards. Or we could both play this or both play that together on our springboards or on our, you know, home home screen or whatever. So that's where this comes in in general as being a really, really good idea for a jailbreak tweak. Um, and he talked, you know, people are saying there's tons of possibilities and, um, you know, someone said brick and, um, you know, Pong and uh, Space Invaders and all that stuff. So uh, again, this is just a really, really good idea for a jailbreak tweak. I am super, super excited. Like I said, though, guys, no ETAs on it just because we don't want to actually go ahead and uh, make everyone, you know, sad by saying an ETA and not delivering on it because, uh, you know, that in, in the past it has happened with a lot of developers. Someone said, okay, well, it'll be out April 3rd and April 3rd comes and goes and 
all of a sudden it's April 16th or April 20th or April 25th or April 30th because that happens to be my birthday. And everyone's like, where's the tweak? Where's the tweak? And the developer's like, oh, sorry, uh, there's a huge bug that I need to fix. It'll be out sometime in mid-May, maybe early June. And everyone's all upset because they were expecting it May 3rd and they're getting it June 5th. So, you know, obvious, that, that's the reason why we don't want to give any ETAs because we don't know 100%, uh, you know, when this is going to come out. But this is definitely really, you know, this is definitely really awesome. And this is definitely being worked on. I can tell you that right now. We have the name. We're in that stage right now. So we have the name. We don't know if it's going to be, um, you know, if there's going to be any price onto it. But I was the original person, me, David from Math Tutorials 14, who actually uh, thought up this jailbreak idea, this jailbreak tweak idea out of my head. Um, so thank you guys for that. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, the Alcove dev team is actually the ones that are actually making this jailbreak tweak. So if you want to know more about this, please follow both the Alcove dev team and me uh, on Twitter. You can find us at Alcove dev team and at Mac Tutorials 14 on Twitter. Also, um, you can find, I'll link the, uh, the kid's personal uh, Twitter as well on um, in the description. I don't remember off the top uh, off the top of my head what it is, but uh, yeah, I'll link that in the description. But we're super excited for this, and uh, you know we'll do definitely though we, we will do some at some at some point we will do at some somewhat of a ETA just telling you guys hey it's in the beta stage it's looking good and maybe show off a teaser and say um, you know it'll be out maybe that, you know we'll give like a, a hint as to when it come out as to when it will come out not an exact ETA because like we said we don't want to uh, get anyone all uh, you know we don't want to get anyone's hopes up and get anyone all upset if it doesn't actually end up coming out on that specific day so it might say it might be out mid mid June early July or uh, mid July, early August, or I, I don't know. It's it's definitely. I don't think it'll take that long because I think they are going to be working on it as soon as they're actually done uh, this week that they're actually working on and getting that, submitting that to Cydia. And I think once they have time, I think they definitely will uh, start working on it. I think even they will start working on it in a couple of days. And depending on what happens, we could see. Um, you know, unfortunately, I know more than you do. Um, and I, I, I actually cannot disclose any of that info, info. I can't even talk any of that information. I'm sorry, guys. I can't disclose any of that information. The developer said that he wants to keep that a secret. We're all hush hush for now. We're like Apple where, you know, it's all rumors and stuff, but unfortunately that's the way it's got to be because we don't want to, uh, you know, like I said, with ETAs and possible release dates, if I say, oh, it's going to be out, you know, May 21st, which that's just a random day, a day that I picked for my head. Don't, you know, go all through your eyes. Oh, May 21st, minus six, minus 200, whatever. So it's got to be April 23rd. Uh, no, just don't theorize about anything. I don't know what's going to happen, but my point is that uh, when we get closer to release or we get close to beta or anything, we will go ahead and tell you guys and update us, uh, update you guys on our Twitter. Um, I'll be constantly retweeting um, all their tweets about it and everything, and uh, when we get closer, we'll let you guys know. But anyway, guys, this is just basically saying this is a concept. I had a concept, and we're making it into a reality. I'm so excited. Hopefully, a lot of these Jubber Tweak reviewers, like I download blog, I tweaks, they all cover it. Hopefully, that way I get more popular. Um, and I'm going to be obviously the first one to cover it because it was my idea. So if you want to know more about it and you want to see it demoed um, when it is actually, uh, you know, in that stage when I can actually go ahead and demo it and show you guys what it actually looks like, let me know down in the comment uh, area below. Also, let me know, know down in the comment area below if you guys think that this is a good idea for a jailbreak tweak. Would you pay money for it? Would you not pay money for it? Do you think this is gimmicky? I know it kind of is. But, uh, you know, it does have a lot of potential, and maybe if we even add in multiplayer mode, maybe it wouldn't be so gimmicky anymore. Maybe you could actually play with your friends, uh, you know, via multiplayer if your device was actually jailbroken. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to let you guys know that we are working on this concept, and we are trying our best to make it a reality. And I will let you guys know when, I, when anything gets closer, when they start working on it. Uh, the developers have actually, the Alcove dev team has not actually even started working on it yet. And they probably will start uh, most likely in a couple of days. But like I said, don't expect anything for a little while just because it hasn't even started yet. Development on the tweak has not even started. But we'll tweet about it and we'll let you guys know when development has started. But anyway, guys, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment area below. And like always, until next time, catch you in the next one. This is David signing out. Peace.